comes. Sunmonani, everybody! Saying to somebody call the ambulance because I'm dying with excitement for you. Oh, I'm Slanji, my fit. So when I'm Slanji, I'm going to be very, very amazing. Let me see these CBs like a TOMZ, Rachel SABC1, we're live, and TV, Aruno. Yes, most definitely. Welcome, my fit. It's Ed Miguel to an absolutely amazing episode of my Slanji, my fit. We're going to be talking about real life heroes. Yes. We're going to be talking about the men and women in our emergency service, our paramedics. Absolutely, my fit. To always first lodge an any medical emergency, my friends. Yeah. So, laba I mean, I'm going to say, 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 I'm going Yes, most definitely. So, laba laba they save lives, they deliver people, they deliver babies, they actually take phone calls whenever you call them. And it's cutting this thing, laba dinga kona, whether again, neta, or gustomi, or kona udineo, they're always there. Absolutely, now, my friends. Okay, you said she log a real life superheroes, laba laba siba nigga, ingagu, eli. One, elite two, elite three, sit down. I to do it. No, go back. I to my face. So buckle up. No, it's funny. I'm an accident. This is TOMZ. Let's go. Here's what's coming up on today's episode of TOMZ. Hang out with two young paramedics and we'll tell you why they do what they do. Spend some time in the day of the life of a real life superhero. Tell you about all about the procedures they perform and how technology helps them. Funagabanti about the equipment they carry around with them every single day. What advances have been made in South African emergency services in the last 40 years? Hmm, I wonder. How can technology improve the efficiency of our paramedics in the future? Test your first aid knowledge and find out if you know how to save a life. Alright, so you this is Let's cut your lessons. It's time to This is the very time where we get to interact with you guys via our social media pages. Let me tell you about it. So, most of the time, we are in our emergency lines. Alana Mzansi. So, you can also see Umira and Lapana on Facebook. Go together. Oh, Pete, oh, one, one, two. Very nice. Where is Billy? Is Pete? Oh, no, go to la. We're going to let you. Hope I'm saying that correctly. Go together. Again, oh, Pete, oh, ten, triple one. Now, keep those comments coming in on Facebook and on Twitter. On Facebook, you're on triple w dot facebook dot com forward slash tmz. On Twitter at Tom's underscore. It's ABC underscore one. With that being said, my fate to some of us going to sell them slides one more up, but we still added a game of fits with our road show, and I'm trying just to say, Nesrex, touchdown at Rancho over fair two. So, come on, I'm true. Thank you for the Does he know anything about paramedics? Fit out, Sam. Hi, hi. You good? I'm all right, thanks. You? I'm good. What's your name? Masingeta. Okay, Masingeta. What is a paramedic? A paramedic is somebody who's deployed to come and assist you in the case that you get an accident or something happens so they can assist you before you get to the hospital and take you there. Paramedics. Yeah. I just invent it. It's the long I want about Paramedic, uh, I think paramedic is all about healthy and safety. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, a uh, paramedic is someone that helps people that are in emergencies, like if you hurt or something. Mm. Yeah. Hospitals and clinics. Do you ever think of becoming a paramedic? Have you ever thought about it? Well, me and blood don't get along, so that would be one of the reasons not to, but I, I appreciate the work that these guys do. Oh, come on, a paramedic. No. Uh, because I'm scared of blood, actually. I uh, know. Why? i not into it. How many times? Cool, my friends, so today we're talking about very special people, the people that you never think about until you need them. It's cool about my paramedics, my friends, the people who actually get up and show up. As in, let's go find out what exactly do they do. Check this out. Our paramedics are the most highly trained class of emergency medical technicians, also known as EMTs. In all kinds of emergency medical situations, such as car crashes, shootings, sports injuries, or mass disasters. Our paramedics respond to emergency calls at all hours, in all types of weather, and often in Bilos Abantus depend on their quick reactions and competency. They take charge at the scene of an emergency and, if necessary, also perform life-saving procedures and administer medications while transporting Abakuli to the hospital. The remarkable changes in South African ambulance services over the past 40 years began in the late 1960s with numerous improvements in ambulance design, training standards and ambulance equipment. In the 1970s, the responsibility for providing ambulance services was removed from local authorities and placed directly under the administration of the various provincial health departments. 
By the 1980s, the different provinces had established provincial ambulance training colleges with personnel trained to an intermediate life support level and a braided ambulance design and equipment levels. They had also implemented rescue training and the strategic placement of adequately placed rescue squads and had begun upgrading communication networks and investigating the concept of advanced life supporting training. By the late 1980s, standards of patient care had improved dramatically in the four largest urban centers with advanced life support trained personnel in place and ambulance and rescue services were compatible with international practices. So Professor, today's topic is all about I'm a paramedic, Solagabanzi, about the amazing things they actually do. Not only is they work strenuous, but, but did you also know, Guti, the jump bags they actually carry have small medical supplies that can actually weigh up to 20 kilograms. And they actually carry that all the time to emergencies. For real? Yep. Yo, now that is heavy. And you just have to be careful, guys. Yes. When I was talking, I said, "Won't get electronic equipment." Last session, you saw my panel a bed, lela. And I need another built-in batteries and many other equipment. It's charging. Hey, boy, yo. Now we're gonna be careful. Just go our social media pages, and we'll see you on the flip side of this. Alright, Mzati, welcome back to ETOMZ, watching SABC. What I'm talking about, Phil, to see Bungaza, I'm a Kawe, I'm a paramedic. Yes, guys, so now I'm a paramedic, so 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 i am a paramedic 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 Alright, <laughs> Sure, sure. Now, I paramedic. paramedic. When's I'm a paramedic. Okay, hey, paramedic basically says I'm a emergency care practitioner. So, she is a one So, if you are a color, you're going to Whether you're in a medical or it's a trauma situation, you a one to call us for a lawyer. This is Octata for a situation there, six years Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then right. six, three, 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 on the way to the hospital. On the way to the hospital. Yeah. Okay, I was calling about different subfields I call it up a week with my paramedic. I'm up on my subfields I call it, or sub-careers. Uh, my sub-career, my paramedic, like, very, like it's a straight career. Mm -hmm. uh, there's three levels to it. I'm um, going to basic life support, mm -hmm. then I'm going to intermediate life support, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to advanced life support. Mm -hmm. And in this two hours, it's lazy. It's uh, my skills. And my drugs was was seven with my patient. And um, as basic life support, like you know, limited drugs, awako, intermediate, then scope sa sa kupuga, then go advanced life support, then sa kupu, then my aguma event side, like ku kata wante ma party ni, or aguma remote side, like ma kupu Africa, from Afghanistan, or seven zako na, aguma remote side, la pis pele la eskude aku luti, ifu munta nga. I am a paramedic on site. I am treated. my chances survive. The equipment carried by emergency services plays a very important role in assisting paramedics to provide emergency medical care. Now, some of the specialized pieces are one, a jump bag, 
in which most of the smaller surgical supplies like amapandishi, amatripu and syringes are carried. Number two, a bag valve mask, a device that is connected to an oxygen cylinder and used to manually give rescue breaths to a patient who is not breathing or not breathing properly. Number three, a suction unit sucks secretions and fluids from a patient's airway that may cause severe respiratory complications. Number four, a medications bag is a padded bag into which the medications that paramedics may need are strapped in. Number five, the trauma or spinal board is an unpadded stretcher that can be used in conjunction with a spider harness and head blocks to provide firm support for patients who have suspected spinal injuries. Number six, an ECG monitor with defibrillator. The ECG is used to monitor a patient's heart and the defibrillator is used to assist the heart to beat normally. Now, I'm going to talk about my daily activities as a paramedic. What do you think? Okay, I'm going to talk about the ECG. 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 Between then, she check equipment. Yes. Later on, when bonus equipment are going with TAP, check a jump bag, mm -hmm. check our oxygen levels, check our levels of Entonox, which is a pain medication, check his space talk, ringers, etc., check his stretcher set with C right as number fours, and all the other equipment. This is a thing on a little long on a day to day basis. I'm a ventilator, my syringe drivers, so I check with our servants and won't get discharged. Yeah. Yeah, then from that point, we set up the then we set up the lights at a garage anyway. Um, during peak hour traffic, well, that's the most time where we usually get a call because people are going to work, have accidents, some have anxiety attacks, is in danger. Then so so station a, the petrol station, or it makes it quicker for us to just respond. Then at quite level of the peak hour, so we have a base like Kaya. So control is dispatch. So how has technology helped Kule Kesley? Gakulwa I was able to get a ventilator. Back in the day, I was able to get a ventilator manually. I was able to get my resources in my country. I was able to get a ventilator manually. I was able to get a back valve mount, a PVM. I was able to get a ventilator manually. Thanks to technology, I was able to get a ventilator, a syringe drive, a medication. I was able to get a ventilator at the intervals. I was able to get it every 10 minutes. Five meals, then you can focus on monitoring other vitals. Then you can focus on monitoring other vitals. Our incubators are carried and used to keep newborn babies warm, being transported in the ambulances. Our ventilators are one again, our machine connected to an oxygen cylinder and designed to mechanically move air into the lungs of a patient who is not breathing or is breathing inadequately. Infusion pumps and syringe drivers are used to control the amount of fluid that passes from a drip into the patient. A hemoglucometer or HGT meter is used to check the blood glucose level in diabetic patients. The KED Kendrick extraction device is used to remove road accident victims from motor vehicles. It is a brace that secures the head, neck and torso to reduce the possibility of additional injuries while victims are being removed from the vehicle. Oh yeah, so guys, I'm sure you I'm a paramedic. So like, I'm going to ask what do these people do? So now, girls, boys are like every time they're going to start in, but panties are like, but she's saying, "I'm going to ask you, where are they going, and what kind of emergency are they going to?" I give boys a jar of it. So now, my vehicles are about aren't that big. For today, we must get some equipment. Like, in general, a jar. Like, now my vehicles now. For the moment, it's kinda some of patients, like I'm a incubators for babies. Yeah. I'm going to ask you. When I'm going to ask you, I'm going to talk about it on Facebook and on Twitter. While you do exactly that, we'll take a quick commercial break. So what? on the flip side of this. Times. Times. All right, I'm Zazi Salam, I'm going to talk to you about TOMZ, and I'm SABC1. Now, when I'm going to talk to you about the paramedics, anxiety on a daily basis, or you want to be a paramedic yourself, Lapo Ikaya? 
Well, guys, here's the information. Now, I'm afraid to, if you want to be a paramedic, it can take you actually six to two years, depending on the level you actually want to be in. Let's take a call. Let's put in a look. Call it to EMT basic. It's building a university EMT intermediate. It's time to paramedics. With that being said, my friends, we're back to our paramedics. So, tola gabat. So, we're not fully aware of what I'm saying. Clearly, I'm going to be. What do I do? Do I perform intake twice CPR or do I pick the phone up and call you guys? Uh, when if we, we train for like, we CPR, then we might perform. Yeah. But if we could train, then there's not much on my hands. We might have further harm. So, best thing we have to do is to the phone, the phone releases. But the main thing, important thing is we remain calm. Mm -hmm. Uh, response time to it is very fast. Um, areas like we stick to a maximum uh, time of 15 minutes, which find a CBC scene. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to say Let's talk about our CPR. Can we just unpack that? Okay, well, CPR stands for cardiac palm resuscitation. So, CPR is you're manually uh, helping the person's heart to beat. But when someone dies with cardiac arrest, it leaves you as a child. So, immediately, if you have a pump, you can use the nutrients, the oxygen, the oxygen. When you have a pump, you can use the research has shown that just pumping the chest alone and doing CPR alone without a ventilator for a period of time, the medics are free. It's sufficient enough to keep the patient um, alive. Yeah, and so the, the paramedics are free. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I never fit you. Now, due to the graphic nature of the scene, unfortunately, as far as I'm reaching, it's about one with the walk. But thank you so much for booking about fit. I'm sure now La Pekai is to a better understanding of what happens to accident. So I'm paramedics. Thank you so much for watching ETRMZ from your boy Usia. This is what we call a mission accomplished. Goodbye. I give a fitness figure for this Katy, where we put your knowledge to the test with our Tom's Quiz Challenge. Now, because again, you can also play along on our Facebook and Twitter pages. Now, again, we're going to have to do is All you have to do is simply slide in the DMs. Now, again, we'll send email on Tom's at sabc.co.za. We love for the guys. Guys, guys, man, let me with our Tom Speed Round Master. Hit us up on Facebook and on Twitter. That being said, my fair too. Let's play the Tom's Quiz Challenge. Oh yes, my to TLMZ is in the building. I'm trying to get my face to. We decided to do things with a bit of a twist. I'm trying to get to the Nazrek Eren show. I hope that you guys are ready to have fun. My name is is ready with in on his teeth, fresh, and is ready to educate you guys. Yes, we're fair to. Now, I'm going to get to TMZ, but within the premises of your school, all you have to do is simply slide in the DMs. No, we an email on times at acbceducation.co.za. And who knows? Your school might be next. Moving right along by Fitch now with the TMZ is all about science and technology. Therefore, we're all about empowering the youth. And now corner spending my career guidance corner fella. Bazo wazu keta umlando abozo tata. Kedi ogbani gin what? Alright, so give a fitch to a little get the TLMZ quiz challenge. Abash. What is the correct treatment for a sprained or a strained muscle? Is it A exercise? Is it B? Rest, ice, comfortable support and elevation. Is it C, massage below the heart, or D, massage the sprain? Which one is it? Press the buzzer if you know the answer. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, need to answer in one. B or B? Sure, sure, sure. And the correct answer is B. Well done to Team A, guys. 10 points for you. Okay, but first, well done for making it to the second round. So Lena CV is again in knockout challenge, my fit. I've got only one question. The first person to press the buzzer, ne? Gets to answer the question. If you get it right, you win this round. If you get it wrong, and if they get it right, they win this round. Okay, now question, my fit. What should you do if a very young child is having difficulty in breathing? Is it A, create a steamy atmosphere? Is it B, move the child to a dry room? Is it C, move the child to a dry room? Or is it D, pat them on the back? Oh, this is why I'm just like that. Okay, boy, what is your answer? D. 
Ready? Yes. Tu es un con, 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 con. It's A! Tu es un Tu es un Unfortunately, this is where your journey ends, Ndwana. This is why Lena is the final round. Lena is a Tom Speed round master, ne? So, in case you end up with Lena, this is why we are going to have a puzzle there in front of you. When you achieve the fire part, going to splendid, ne? You have two minutes to do this, ne? Your time starts now. Kumbule, ne? One by one, one by one, one by one. No, it can't. Come on, come on, yeah. We are going to tell the people who are selling Okay. Mm -hmm. Focus, focus, focus. Yabon. Yabon. Three, two, one. And your time is up, unfortunately. I'll see someone what happened. Get Got nervous, hey? <laughs> Got nervous. Ah, excuse this one. Unfortunately, we refer to this is the end of the round. This is what we call the Tom's Quiz Challenge. Until next time, keep it fresh. Okay, guys, so it's for nearly about the emergency medical services. So now I'm interested with all the technology is now and I'm telling you, how is the future going to be like? Let's go check it out. The future sees the demand for paramedics growing with ambulance services acting as community based providers of urgent care, which is crucial to the emergency care system. The future will also see ambulances evolve into driverless vehicles which will have many benefits for paramedics and greatly assist the efficiency of their duties. Driverless vehicles would mean that two paramedics instead of one would be available to treat a patient in the back of the ambulance on their way to the hospital. Now these smart ambulances will also be equipped with technology that would allow paramedics to communicate and work with doctors inside of the hospitals. A driverless vehicle equipped with smart technology will provide more space for paramedics to work in and see ambulance services evolve into mobile treatment centers. Ray. Oh man, unfortunately we've come to the end of the show, but guys, thank you so much for joining us on today's absolutely educational show. If you are in any emergency, the number to dial is 10 triple one buzzers and we'll share show buzz with Brent. Mmm, a number fits for any links, updates on the show. You can always visit to www.sabceducation.co.za forward slash TOMZ. Twitter at IMC underscore G. And I am fresh by Cat and Kubu Lever Fits. TOMZ is also alive and kicking on social media platforms. Platforms. Facebook, see TOMZ on Twitter, see Tom's underscore SAPC underscore one. Until next time, CT, we love you. Here's what's coming up next time on TOMZ. Come on with the man in charge of 320 different species of animals at Johannesburg Zoo. We meet a team of animal health technicians who make his job possible. So, is exactly what a licensed animal health technician does. How far back does animal care go and when was the first school opened? We're live and TV are one.